What is up guys? We are back here again. We got a review today for the 4 star maxed out DMR-17 assault rifle. We are jumping into a training match as we usually do in our reviews. At least 4 weapons that you can farm with. Uh, so we should do pretty decent. It is a 4 star but you can do well enough with a 4 star in training. Especially if that 4 star is pretty good. And now this guy, you know, I don't know if I would say it's pretty good, you know, it's decent, it's, uh, you know, it's it's just there, you know. Um, you know, I, I kind of said that about the Tav XI when I originally reviewed that, I was like, you know, this gun's just there, you know, it's, it's just there, it doesn't really have a strength, it doesn't really have a weakness, it's just there. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't exactly say that about this DMR, um, hopefully that's not too confusing because I kind of just did say that, but... <laughs> Um, you know, to, to kind of put it in one line, you know, the, the DMR didn't blow me away. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's still a 4-star. Definitely, you know, still a 4-star. Keep that in mind. Uh, I have not touched a 5-star. I have not touched a 6-star. And obviously, I have not touched a 7-star. Um, but I do definitely want to build it. It has impressed me enough to the point where I definitely want to build it. I don't think that it's a waste of time to build it. However, if you're trying to be competitive, if you don't have a super competitive primary weapon, you might want to build other weapons first. Um, you know, it's you'll see some multiplayer coming up. I'll play, uh, I don't know, probably like three ranked team deathmatch games in here, and you know, I think in one of those matches I got ripped apart by a couple seven-star A500s, and uh, you know, I don't. It's never really fair to compare a four-star to a seven-star, obviously, right? But um, you know, I, I'm trying to compare it to the A500 is what I'm getting at because the A500 is so standard, you know, even more so nowadays. It seems like everybody, literally everyone is popping up with a 6-star A500, 7-star A500. I mean, the 7-star A500s are popping up like crazy, like crazy. I see them every single match almost, you know. I don't know what's going on, but everybody has one. Um, but anyways, I mean, that's... The A500 has kind of become the standard assault rifle in this game. Um, so I definitely want to compare it to that. Let's see how we did real quick. 38, 1, and 6. That's not bad at all for a 4 star, you know? Um, I definitely see this weapon getting up there. Um, you know, definitely over 50 kills once you hit a 5 star. In the, the upper levels of a 5 star, definitely at 6 stars. You know, I'm, I'm confident that you could get 50 plus kills in a training match with this guy. And, uh, you know, one of the weaknesses of this gun is that it has a low portability. Um, so that doesn't really come into play that much in training. You know, I mean, at least if your if you're, uh, method for farming is similar to mine, just basically standing in the same spot, obviously you don't need portability. Um, you saw my gear setup there, I was rocking the green pants. Um, and that's with the 6-star Tactical Beret vest and the 6-star Tactical Beret. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of different gear setups out there. Um, you know, if you want stun protection, obviously you could go with stun pants. These green pants are probably going to be the fastest pants with assault. Um, I forget what the plus 5% portability boost is, um, but you see 871 there and then you know, plus whatever that 5% is, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it'll take you the highest possible for a pair of pants with an assault rifle. Um, but it's, it's kind of a trade-off because generally you switch to your secondary to move faster, and so these are going to be kind of slow with your secondary compared to wearing, like, just light urban pants, for example. Um, you know, at 928 or whatever that portability is, you're going to have 928 portability with, you know, your KG-18, with your PW-9, whatever you have is your secondary, right? Um, and when you're wearing green pants, sure, you're going to move faster with Assault, but, you know, you have 871 portability with your secondary, so, you know, it really kind of switches things up a little bit. You see we're in rank TDM now, got a, a lovely 7-star UNK CQB Charlie. Um, you know, I, I mean, you done son says this all the time, he, he likes to do his reviews in one take, you know, what you... What happens is, is what you see, it's what you get, and, uh, you know, I'm pretty much the same way. I mean, I do, you know, maybe edit a couple more matches, you know, I, I cut things out here and there, but, um, 
you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not post this game because just because there's a seven-star unk, and I think I saw Mo Fokker right there. He's probably bringing some heat as well. Um, you know, I mean, this is, you know, the reality of what you're gonna run into in rank. So, you know, hopefully, I'll try not to play too conservatively. Oh, there we go. That's a uh, six-star AGL 660 Tiger, the homie Mo Fokker <laughs> wrecking me. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I'll try to, you know, just give it an honest review. You know, this is ranked play. We'll see how a four-star DMR-17 can compete and ranked against, you know, some top-tier weapons, some top-tier players. You know, Savage Sang is a great player. Mo Fokker is a great player for sure. Um, so we'll see how we can do. Um, see what we got going on. And uh, then I'll, I'll probably have, like, two matches after this. And uh, I think I'm going to try a different gear setup. I'll... Uh, I'll probably go, ooh, here we go, oh, oh, <laughs> got him, I think he was reloading or something, couldn't quite tell, um, you see there, I mean, going head to head against the Ankh, of course you're going to lose that fight, there's a lovely AGL again, um, but, you know, when he's caught reloading, you can kill him quick enough where he doesn't have a chance to reload, um, you know, this weapon does not have the highest fire rate, and once again, here we go, fire rate, fire rate, fire rate, but, um, you know, it doesn't have the highest fire rate, but it, it can still, it's its like, in a weird way, it, it kills quick enough in close range. It's, it's really kind of weird, you know? Um, but you see, I mean, there, that, that was some good range. You see here, we're struggling a little bit. We're getting a lot of hits, but, you know, something like the A500, CQR2000, especially with the beret gear, um, I mean, that, that would have been a kill on Mofaka there for sure. Um, this gun, not quite cutting it. If I was scoped in, I'm 100% confident that I would have got him, but, I mean, you see my controls there, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't put my scope on the left side, so I, I don't usually shoot and then enter the scope, if you get what I'm saying. Um, that's just, you know, that's a drawback to the way I have it set up, but there are positives to the way I have it set up, and, you know, maybe I'll, whatever, make a, a specific video about my control setup at another time, but... Anyways, there's a, a close range kill there. That's uh, no offense to that guy, I didn't even see his name. Hopefully, I'm not making a fool out of myself, but that's how to spot a noob if he's wearing the uh, what is that, the urban heavyweight vest. Um, you know, no offense, of course, but that vest is just, you know, I don't know. I remember pulling my first one as I, I was like, wow, look at this thing, it looks so cool. It's got amazing defense, you know, it's, it's a little low on portability, but it's not, you know, it's not bad, and, you know, I was like, wow, this is going to protect me so well, I'm going to wear this in a multiplayer, and, you know, I remember wearing that a couple of times, and, you know, long story short, just basically, uh, you know, newer players will, will typically wear gear items like that, um, you know, I've seen people wear, like, light combat pants with, uh, that was a nice shot there, light combat pants with a, a mastodon torso, and, you know, I'll do respect on that. That sounds super douchey right now, but, um, you know, that's a, a clear way to spot a noob in after balls, right? Um, there we go, 7-7-2 seven, seven and two against, uh, you saw Mofaker had the 7-star uh, Shamrock APK, Savage Sang had the 7-star, uh, you know, Parrot, UNK, CDB, Charlie, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a 4-star, right? So, 4-star can compete, you know, I, I think... If I had to set a baseline, I'd say competing is being able to go even, right? Because then, you know, with the variance in each game, you might go a little positive one game, you might go a little negative one game. You know, you're you're competing, you're up there, you know, you you have a chance, right? Um, so four star can definitely compete. Um, but uh, I'll show you the stats here once we load in on um, this four star maxed. Um, you know, definitely, I love the look of this weapon. I'm a huge fan of this weapon. I want to build the seven star just for the looks. I don't know, just my thoughts, but anyways, those are the stats, you see, rate of fire 2200, um, so definitely not that fast, but 
you know, damage was around like 3,000, I think it said, so, you know, it's, it's not bad, you know, it's pretty, pretty average stats, you know, they're, they're, they're in there, they're not, you know, they're not up there, but they're in there, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all, but we're gonna jump into another ranked match here, we got Warehouse coming up, um, and I believe I switched my gear here, I got the, uh, I switched out the pants for the six star tactical beret pants and uh, that'll give me the full three piece set of the tactical beret gear set and so in addition to the plus 20% stability that I have um, you know that I had in the in the previous match I'll also have a plus 20% range and uh, range definitely not an issue on this weapon but you know I don't I don't know exactly we could you know we could talk for hours about dissecting this this game's you know mechanics and everything um you know maybe a boost in range will help me do more damage um you know especially especially noticeable on long shots like you know this weapon might not have a problem hitting long shots because it has good range but maybe a range boost will will help me do more damage um and i could i don't know i could explain that in another video but I'm sure uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there get it. I'm sure a lot of people are like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Um, but yeah, I don't just throwing that out there. Um, but either way, you know, this weapon doesn't need more range, but it could. This could be helping, you know. And uh, you know, another thing I'd like to point out. Um, I think I mentioned it in my past videos. I have shown this weapon from one stars maxed out, two stars maxed out, three stars maxed out, and now you're watching the four star maxed out. I'm not sure. I guess that was my teammate over there. <laughs> um, I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I completely messed it up. Oh, that was an epic death. <laughs> oh, man. I think I mentioned this before. I wanted to just make like an epic death compilation. Just like, I don't know, deaths like that where like, you know, I mean, there's other ones where like people go flying and some crazy ragdolls, but I mean, that one was pretty funny. Just like, his legs collapsed and he kind of just slowly tilted back. That was pretty good. Um, oh yeah, I think I was saying, you know, I mentioned in other videos about the reload. The reload is definitely slow on this guy and uh, you might not really get a taste for it in my videos. I think I've worn the Tactical Beret vest in every video, um, which has plus 30% reload speed. So that's a huge boost and, uh, you know, it makes the reload manageable on this guy. And you know, if you do have this weapon, just, I'm sure you've seen it, obviously, but, you know, if you see the reload without wearing this gear, um, you know, it's, it's literally, literally, like, an LMG, um, you know, I'm, I don't know the, the actual time or whatever, but, you know, literally, I would assume takes as long as, it feels like it takes as long as, like, a KPK, the LMG, um, you know, and, and I've, I've kind of said that, this gun feels like a hybrid. Um, actually, I think I wrote in the forums that it it's almost like an A500 and a KPK had a baby. Um, you know, not not getting weird, but <laughs> um, that's just kind of what it feels like. But it feels like that it feels like that kid's just not quite grown up yet. You know, it's like you know he's got a you know I don't know <laughs> he's got to hit puberty and, and get in the gym and, and build up some muscles or you know whatever get some some faster fire rate do a little more you know damage per shot whatever um, that's my teammate again um, can we get this guy nope <laughs> um, but yeah it really feels like a hybrid between an assault rifle and an LMG um, but you know it's it's just not it's not an animal I don't I don't know um, look at that throw that's what I'm talking about I think he had stun pants on but we still didn't manage to get him um, you know, it's just, it's not like an animal, like you, you hold a six star Shamrock A500 and you're like, this thing's an animal. You hold a six star, you know, CQR2000 Atom, you're like, this thing's an animal. You hold a six star KPK LMG, at least, you know, at level, you know, whatever level it gets good at, whenever it passes like 3000 rate of fire or whatever that, that threshold is, you know, you hold that thing and you're like, this thing's an animal. And, you know, this gun just doesn't have that impression. And, uh, you know, I don't know, it's just, uh, it can compete, it's not great. Um, you see here, I mean, 9 and 2, that's not bad at all. That was, you know, it felt like a little bit of a slow match. Um, you know, everyone was, was camping a little bit there, it didn't seem like, you know, people were moving that much and pushing around the map. Um, you know, I didn't push that much, but that was kind of a, 
you know, I'm playing more reactive, you know, you can't, with a, with such a low portability weapon, you can't really play aggressively, you kind of have to play reactively, if that makes sense. Um, just remember, skill can't be taught, it has to be learned. <laughs> That's uh, advice with Willis, I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next video. <laughs> Oh man, um, we're jumping into another ranked team deathmatch match, and uh, you know I just gotta say I love this six star PW9 Tiger. Um, I think it looks incredible, especially with this beret gear. Like I don't know what it is, but it just looks amazing sitting on my hip there. Um, you know I didn't mention it before when I was playing, but I was definitely thinking it. Um, you know it just looks awesome sitting on my sitting on my hip. I mean just just watch it when we when we spawn in here and run around. Um, and by the way, I've been very, very impressed with that six-star PW9 Tiger. Um, I believe I have a six-star regular. I, I think I tried to use it at some point and really didn't like it. Um, but this six-star PW9 Tiger is, is doing something for me, you know? Um, I think it's definitely a competitive sidearm. Um, you know, it's not a bad option. Um, look at that DMR on our back, though. That thing it just looks amazing, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm such a fan of, of weapons like this in the game. Um, well, I mean, all the weapons are, are more or less realistic. Um, I guess the skins is, is what makes them a little game-ish, you know? Um, and obviously they, they change, you know, certain parts of guns. Um, I don't know if that's, like, copyright, if, if the designs are, are copyrighted or whatever. I've never uh, dealt with anything like that, but I'm, I'm sure it's something like that, some reason like that. Um, so they are slightly changed, but you know every gun pretty much is based off of, of real life counterparts, um, you know. And uh, I'm definitely a fan of the way this gun looks. I love the uh, just the standard black, you know. It just it looks like a standard, you know, assault rifle. Like a you know you could get a like an AR-15 like this, you know. Um, you know without you know any flashy skins, you know. Um, I'm definitely a fan of just this all black look. Um, you've heard me say that before, you know, I'm a fan of, of basic, um, although I do, I am a fan of the camos as well, and, uh, you know, even on the flashy side, this PW9 Tiger, look at that thing, man, <laughs> it just looks so good, I don't know, the colors are just vibing so well with this greenish beret setup, you know, I don't, I just don't know what it is, but it looks amazing in my opinion, um, I don't know, it doesn't affect your performance, but it, it feels good to, to run around in a game, you know, feeling good, looking good. Um, there we go, there's another good kill with the DMR, um, you see no problem there, we don't, we don't have to scope in at that range for sure, it's definitely fine, you know, not using the scope, I love, I love weapons in this game that don't require using the scope, um, that's kind of my reason that I, I really don't like the KPK LMG so far, you know, I have two six stars, I've, I've maxed out the three star and reviewed it on my channel, I maxed out the four star, reviewed it on my channel, um, I think I have a five star that I was planning to review eventually, but that's just gotten pushed to the side as, you know, they never stop releasing new guns. Um, that was weird, we were kind of shooting through the wall there or something. Um, but you know, I, you know, I do have two six star KPG LMG Bravos, you know, obviously I could level one up and make the seven star at some point, but you know, after playing with the six stars a little bit, and obviously people say level it up, get it over, you know, 3,000 rate of fire or, or whatever that, that benchmark is. Oh, 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 look at this, look at this, oh, <laughs> we got him. Complete foul on my part, I should have had him way earlier than that, but somehow we managed to sneak that kill. Um, you know, PW9 is good, that didn't do it justice, but we still got the kill, and you know, PW9 is decent, but, you know, anyways, to get to my point, you know, I, I, I haven't been impressed with the KPK, and I think one of the reasons is that you really need the scope, you know, and, uh, oh, who's this? <laughs> is that one of our buddies? Um, that's just a stupid run. The butler, there's the, uh, seven star A500s, like I mentioned. Um, I actually saw the butler at the top of the leaderboard. He must be, uh, gunning for it this week, but, um, anyways, you know, KPK is a very scope-heavy weapon, and so... I've never really been a fan of weapons like that in this game because, you know, it's a there's touch screen controls, there's only so much you can do and, you know, like I said, my control setup here, I, I don't, you know, I'm not a heavy scope user, you know, I, I don't really like using it, obviously I will use it and it does help in a lot of situations, but I don't like using it, like even right there, that was an amazing shot, look at that, that's, uh, that's a lot to do with the uh, tactical beret gear, but, um, you know, this weapon is still capable of that, you know, regardless of what gear you're wearing. Oh jeez, oh jeez. 
damn that 8500 kills is quick, but um, you know I, I like that this weapon you know is is good enough without the scope. You know obviously the scope does help in a lot of situations, but it's good enough without the scope. There we go, seven, four, and zero against some seven star 8500s. Didn't get much help from my team really, but you know it was a decent decent uh, decent match that we were moving around the map. Um, you know we got some great shots. You know gear helped out a lot, but this weapon's pretty good. Um, you know, it's not it's not great. I think A500 might still be a better choice. CQR2000 definitely a better choice, but you know this weapon can compete, and I'm really looking forward to getting some five stars, getting some six stars, and playing with those guys. But that'll do it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, added uh, you know a couple of gameplays in there. Hopefully it's not too long for you guys. Hopefully you get the time to watch the whole thing. And as always, be sure to subscribe for more videos coming up, and as always, I'll catch you on the next video.